they've uh, they've proven themselves, I think. They are a steam train at this point, and Afterthought is currently sitting on the tracks. Oh, yeah, and without any further ado, guys, this is the moment we have all been waiting for five months leading up to this moment here, best of seven grand finals. Who is going to join Savage? As your Renegade Cup champions, the North American champion will be decided here in this best of seven, as you mentioned. And again, Sway coming off a solid win over the Peeps, three games to zero. And they want some revenge on Afterthought for sending them down there in the first place. We shall have to see. Both teams giving each other a little bit of respect to open things up. That's what we like to see. Well deserved. Well deserved respect, because honestly, if you're Afterthought watching that series, you are worried at this point, but they did do relatively solidly in their first series versus Sway. We'll have to see if they can keep that up, and they have been on the offense here for quite some time. Alpha Keth is gonna grab control of the ball right here, looking for a center. Hawks are quick on the draw. T. Carell over to Zombie, and oh, he's oh. spinning, he's spinning, but he can't get that one through, I love it. Spinning and spinning and spinning, almost spun that one right into the back of the net. Great carry there, and it leads to this offensive press now for Sway. Just shows you how comfortable they're playing right now. Hopefully they can turn that into a couple of goals. But Zombie putting on the spin cycle. I'm liking it. Truly, a, truly interesting play. But some good offense from both teams so far. Afterthought have yet to put an effective shot on that T. Carell. With an easy deflection right there. Back out in the center, finds Alpha Kep. T. Carell still playable here, but beat out by Shock. Finds Hoxer. And they're looking downfield now. Zolhe, one of the players that we saw do it outstanding in their first series against Sway. It's gonna be a name to watch for us as we move forward in this series. About a minute 40 gone, and we still haven't seen too much threatening the net. Now, good job by Sway of keeping this offensive pressure at bay for afterthought. We've seen some okay, pre um, okay shots so far, but nothing uh, good enough to, to beat this Sway defense. Oh, defense coming through for Alpha Kep there. Big save. I think that was a little bit of a bump as well to keep away the follow-up shot. Well, either way, Sway keep it out of the back of their net. Two minutes of gameplay now, gone. And nobody with an advantage. This one high in the midfield, Hoxer was quick to that one. ZPS with a nice easy clear to the midfield. Jock gonna follow that up. Now for Kemp with position, no more boost. And t -Girl has to pull off there. ZPS once again the third man back. And a nice bump there from Alpha Kemp will allow them to push up field. Jock in an awkward spot on the back wall. But not too much pressure coming in as far as Sway is concerned. And they're starting to move downfield slowly, ever so slowly. D. Carell back to the midfield line. Shock's just gonna take over once right away. Good idea on the doing from Zolhe. Looked like he was looking for the back wall. And I do believe Hoxer was in position, so you can tell they're trying to get the passing plays started up. But both of these teams are, and it seems like they're canceling each other out. Yeah, both teams playing a good job of doing exactly that, canceling out any potential opportunities. I think Afterthought have been down on Sway's end of the field more, but in the end it hasn't mattered because Sway have been up to the challenge. Just under two minutes remain now, and it feels like there's still three on the clock. But that's just the way it is sometimes. Sway, oh, that was dangerous. I like the idea by Hoxer, but now they're on the retreat. Sway on full offensive right here. Alpha Kemp off the ceiling, off the back wall, but nobody can get there in time. Hoxer, too quick. ZPS will be able to keep it in the blue corner. And again, any attack could give either of these teams the lead. Here with 90 seconds remaining, we might be entering silver goal territory in game number one. ZPS dropping it down. T. Carell can't quite beat on Zolhe. Once again, love the idea, but both of these teams have had rock solid defense throughout their series so far. So those simple plays aren't gonna get passed. No, I think we gotta see some passing plays. That's what's gonna score here. Both teams just too good about stopping these routine balls both above the net and in the corner as well. So you gotta start getting those passes to the center and working with your teammates. With a minute remaining now, either goal could spell disaster for our other team. Once again, still in game number one. So both these teams playing incredibly conservatively, considering the low, the low stakes, to be honest. We've had lots of best of threes today and uh, yesterday and the day before. But we do have a best of seven here. Interesting to see we're not seeing a little bit more aggression. That might be it. That one sinks in. Hoxer has the lead. Great shot from Hoxer coming through. Just 35 seconds to go. Huge goal now for Afterthought. Puts them ahead and with the pressure that they've had in this game. That spells doom for Sway Esports. That one goal may hold up and get Afterthought the one nothing series lead. And we'll have to see. Looked like Sway 
We're willing to commit a little bit more to that, considering what's on the line. And now that they're down, they are going to throw everything they have at it. I'm fearful for Afterthought at this point in time. Less than 30 seconds remain. T. Carell off the back wall. Looks like this is going to be Hoxers to play. Downfield. ZPS with a high pop. T. Carell beats Solheim to that ball. It's on the backboard. Shock, no contact made, but good respect. Unfortunately, is their downfall for Sway. Final 10. Alpha kept just barely beaten out there by Hoxer. It's down the other way. Sway looking in a very bad spot right now as it's in front of their own net. ZPS to T. Carell. It's still in the air, but I'm not liking their chances. Great pop from Alpha kept, oh. though. Don't count him out just yet. T. Carell looking for a zombie and a great shutdown. Alpha Cap going to try and keep it up as long as he can, but to no avail. Great ending there and a great win coming here for Afterthought. They had to wait a little bit in the wings to see who they were going to face. They shake off any potential rust that they may have had and come out and secure this game one victory. That is absolutely huge. We know it's a best of seven, so still a lot of time for Sway to get back in it. But I really like how um, Afterthought were able to come in and secure that um, victory, especially in a slim one goal game like that. So close back and forth between both these teams, but I want to ask you guys is what you guys whenever are we going to get a final second goal? We've had so many <laughs> chances throughout the entire broadcast today, but we haven't had a single one go into the back of the net. Are we going to get one the next game possibly? Um, it's going to be in game seven of the bracket reset. And then we're oh, going to. So he's calling the bracket reset right now. Uh, yeah, that's going to be. It has to be possible for that moment that we're setting that up. Moment. So yes, yes. On that game <laughs> seven um, is maybe, maybe when we'll see that. But honestly, I think it's kind of the testament to how good the um, players are at keeping the ball up, honestly, where it seems like any potential, any one goal situation could potentially be that tying goal at the end. I mean, these, these players are world class. Uh, they can keep the ball up for days. Well, I already remember a specific instance in the uh, EU finals where Godsmilla was able to score a zero second goal to earn his team a victory in one of the games. So I'm looking forward to something of that caliber. Again, it was kind of a shot to challenge the shot by Kyle Mask. I love referencing that one. It was just such a memorable moment. Hopefully we get something like that, as Vaudible mentioned here before too long. Speaking of two, game number two of Sway versus Afterthought, the first bracket. Afterthought looking for a quick startup. Shot couldn't find the net on that one, Zolhe. Gonna drop it back into the corner. Tikarel, bit of a strange situation there. We'll be able to back away. Allow Alpha Cap over top of one. Good ones play there. Pops up high. Zombie into the corner. Waiting to follow this one. A lot of respect for their opponents once again. And Sway starting out a little bit on the offense, right? Ooh, that was very awkward in front of the net. But Alpha Cap, once again, lots of respect for the opponents. It is their downfall. Yeah, expecting that clear. You can't blame them there. Very true. Two players on the back wall thinking surely somebody's going to get that. So patient play from Sway. I don't blame them also because they were able to keep Afterthought to just that one goal. So, you know, they're wanting to keep this close. That may that way they'll stay in it this whole time. Chance coming up there for Shock, though. Blocked. And Zolhe going to get this ball back down through Afterthought down in the end of Sway. This is interesting. We saw a lot of Afterthought pressure. In the last match, I actually noticed I got a chance to look at the scoreboard. Sway only had two shots at the end of that game. Wow. So it's nice to see them a little bit more on the offensive side at the beginning. Here's Hoxer. Good opportunity. Zolhe trying to keep it alive. Alpha Kemp was responsible for the initial save. It was kept away. About a minute and a half gone now. Afterthought looking to start moving on the offense. Great opportunity here. Shock just can't get the read on that pass from Zolhe. Great doink. Over top of one. It's Tikarel for the cross. Just had to get it away from the opponent. Unfortunately, no passing target. And we'd like to see a little bit more aggression from Sway trying to move up field like that. But, I mean, you, you can't blame him once again. They've, they've got a lot of respect for their opponents. They might just not have been expecting that opportunity. Both of them. Oh, Zolhe. Yeah, Zolhe. Great shot there coming through. Hoxer puts it to the center of the field. We have seen them be able to make that shot time and time again. The accuracy on those center passes just absolutely on point here for Afterthought. Again, a one nothing lead for them. They won with that same margin in game one. Sway right now have got to push their foot down and get that pressure going. I like that opening attempt there from T. Carell, unfortunately. Fell on deaf ears. A nice and easy save for Afterthought. And I did notice it seems that Afterthought making those strange interference plays, that's what the assist from Hoxer originated from, might be really shutting down Sway in every way, shape, and form. As we approach the half, Afterthought looking for more right here. They're hungry for more goals, and Shock almost found a cheeky one right there. Didn't quite find its way onto the goal line. 
There's still a chance. Onto the back wall, Zolhe for the follow. Nice stop out from T. Carell. Moves up the side wall, Alpha. With CPS over in center. Couldn't get that one away from the wall, though. And Afterthought, once again, going to try and move this one downfield. Great passing play right there. Off on the back wall. Zombies in the air. Sends it almost through, but not quite. The crossbar is their bane. All three players involved there for Sway, but just can't get that finishing shot there. Glorious opportunity for them to get this game tied up. And when they've had so few chances in this matchup, they have got to bury the ones that they're given. Critical opportunity missed right there. But they're moving down onto the offense once again. Alpha Kep might have an opportunity to send this one towards the center. Their last man has been demoed, though. ZPS once again, the solid midfield player, taken out of that play, made them lose all of their confidence, and now they're back on the defense once again. Shock off the side wall. Hoxer for the shot. No, it's blocked away. Very nicely done with the goal line defense, but what more do we expect from Sway on those kinds of shots? You're going to have to try a little bit harder. It was a passing play, but I mean, we're at the finals, and that one's going to go through. And they, I guess they tried a little bit harder. Yeah, and they actually were able to pull Sway a little bit forward as well. Zombies, the last man back, goes for that challenge, not able to get it. Obviously, as the last man back, you are, you've got to make that touch, or it's going to be a goal. Sway Esports definitely looking off. They're trying their best to get upfield, and Afterthought are just stopping them at every moment. Sway just not having any chance to get offense going here, and Afterthought pushing yet again. Zol can't get a piece of that one. Alpha Kep going to put it back downfield into Afterthought's end. But right now, Squid, time is running out for Sway. Time is not on Sway's side. Indeed. Just over a minute remaining. Still down by two, and they haven't scored a goal yet. Shot on, right here, Hoxer. Gonna be able to come across for that one, ZPS for the recenter. Alpha Cap barely able to get onto that one, and that one was around the last man. T. Carell quick on the ball. There it is, finally Sway able to get on the board here. Zombie starts it off, Alpha in the middle, and T. Corral coming in, finishing it off. Who else than T. Corral? He's played so well for his team today and yesterday as well. That is what Sway needs if they're gonna get themselves back into the game. All three players getting involved on the offense. 56 seconds and the train keeps rolling. Shot on right there. Hawkser's a bit of an strange spot. ZPS across the center now. Alpha kept just barely beaten out by Shock, but I'm liking the momentum right off the kickoff. Shock off the side wall. ZPS to keep it alive. Alpha kept for the backup. Off this back wall. No great flick from Zolhe. Sends it way up high, and nobody was expecting that one for Sway. And now we're moving down the other way. Interference from T. Carell. ZPS just barely beaten out on that one. It's going to come down. Alpha Kep misread right there. It's a bit of a dangerous spot. Pass across. There's Hoxer from Zolhe. And that one's sent straight on home. Huge heads up play there. That may seal the deal for Afterthought here in game number two. Zolhe, look at that. The pre jump from the defender, but Zolhe knew he was going past the whole time. Finished off by Hoxer. Great play for Afterthought. The team effort from them just cannot be denied. And uh, they've done a great job in this finals of giving themselves what appears to potentially be a 2-0 lead. A different roster than, that, than the one that played in the WSOE qualifiers. They made it all the way to face off against Tier 1 teams with Mist as their third, but Zolhe seems to be fitting in quite nicely right here. Afterthought with some solid wins here as they move up to 2-0 in this best of seven for Sway. It's gonna be a battle back. Yeah, if, uh, honestly, they don't have a lot of time either. I know it's a best of seven. Obviously, if they go down 0-3, they still have a chance, but nobody wants to have to reverse sweep in a game seven situation. Ooh. So hard to do, especially when they're the ones that are behind as well. Remember, Afterthought, they've stayed in the upper bracket this entire time, so they've almost got nothing to lose at this point. It is all on Sway going into this next game. After Sway looks so good, coming after the victory against the peeps what really changed with these te these teams other than their opponents like is it just like them not able to get things going on offense or is there defense what what's happening with sway i think the style of of sway against the peeps really suited them well whereas afterthought they're doing something obviously a little bit different i think honestly um it, it may be that midfield presence sway are having a real tough time getting the ball past that midfield line um yeah, Afterthought just really good at clogging up the mid. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that one. Afterthought taking those balls, like I mentioned, interference plays are really getting this way right now because we saw him making a bunch of pass plays, trying to transition upfield, and obviously having Zombie as that back man, of course, causes an issue when the, when the two players that you're passing between get interrupted just out of nowhere. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily need to, need to be a shot on net or pass directly to your teammate as long as it gets away from Sway. 
suddenly they, they're, they're kind of scrambling. They don't know what to do. They're flustered. And it causes a lot of issues. And that's what I've been seeing so far. That's why they ha don't seem to have as much offense as they did versus the peeps, I feel. Yeah, game three now, Squid. Like we said, this, this is getting real tough here for Sway. They've got to come back in a big way in this game. Sway, come back in a big way. We shall have to see. If the tables turn right here, TKRL early up on this one. Nice second touch. Oh. Wow, off the crossbar and the post in a way. Alpha Kep can't get that one in either. Unfortunate right there. They would have liked a quick goal on that one. As I believe they've lacked a lead this entire series so far. Would have been a welcome advantage. But I guess Afterthought have different plans. Yeah, and I, I got to say, I got to call it Hoxer. He's been playing spectacular today. Yesterday it was Shock. Today it's Hoxer. A couple of goals and a couple of big saves as well coming from them. So honestly, they're playing extremely well. They got another chance here. Zolhe going up off the top. It's going to waterfall down, and Hoxer going to get a play on that one. More pressure here coming for Afterthought as they continue to hem sway back into their zone. And you were calling out Hoxer as your player of the day for Afterthought, but we have to consider Zolhe in the upper bracket finals. He also did a great job of putting on the pressure in every single way possible as a playmaker, as an offender, and as a striker. A minute's gone now. Afterthought on the defense right here. Just barely missing out right there. T. Carell for the shot, just a little bit wide. Like the idea going for the side of the net, but unfortunately just didn't have enough room to get that one in there. Now Shock downfield. Not much to do with that one as T. Carell will carry it back to the midfield line. Hawks are going to replay this one into center. Off the back wall. Not going to be able to make contact with that. On the back wall again. Zole going to wisely stay out of that one for a second. It looks like they're just trying for a lead up in there was the breakdown, but Alpha Camp had other ideas. The aggression right now for Afterthought is unreal. They are just rotating around, full trust in their teammates, and they are pressing. Full press offense is absolutely giving Sway fits. We need a clear right now from Sway for them to get an opportunity to reset because we are seeing very low boost numbers for every one of their players. Almost goes through right there. Oh, a bit of a double bad. commit. Zolhe's in the air, tapped down towards the net. Oh, oh Hoxer's not able to get a foot on that one. And it gets touched away. ZPS finally across the midfield line. A crucial reset opportunity for Sway. Yeah, that could have decided the entire series right there, that play. Good job for Sway getting that back out. But afterthought, no time at all to just get right back down the field. They are not wasting time. Shock oh. left man here. Zombie's going to be able to force it to center. Hawks are quick on the rotation, though, and it's moving down the other way. Shock to Zolhe, but it gets cut off by Alpha Camp rather quickly. And a good cutoff as well. Tigarell taking Hawks out of the play, interrupting the rotation for just a second. Sway needs some desperate offense right here. It's T. Carell. Alpha Kep double committing on that one as well. It's an open net the other way. Shock is going to send it on target. And that's all she wrote. Hate to see it there from Sway. The first real chance they got in this game set up by a demo from T. Carell, which I think is actually a great idea with the way that Afterthought are pressing them. They need to bump them. They need to demo them and get them out of the way. But unfortunately, again, they just cannot keep up that offensive pressure and it goes back downfield after thought get the first goal like they have in each of these first three games sway with an early demo on the face off has granted them some offense right here another demo actually zolhe demoed alpha cap that looks like a different intent on that play zps to the back wall shock is already there though pinch off to the side the minute 45 to go sway still lacking a lead in this entire series they desperately need one right here ZPS shut down once again. Shock to drop it in the corner. Follow up as well. Great dunk. Onto the back wall. ZPS is there. Trying to get this one to the midfield line, but a great return by Hoxer. And honestly, we haven't talked enough about that. Uh, afterthought, keeping Sway in the midfield line or farther down the field basically all series long. And again, that's what I mentioned. They, they have Sway just have not had enough offense. It really has been the entire series. Maybe a chance here, though, for Sway. That demo coming through. Called it out before. Zombie gets the demo, and that opens up the field. That very may be Sway's chance at a victory here because of that press from Afterthought. Good job from T. Carell. Gets in and gets this game tied up. Well, I don't think there was any better time to talk about how they're getting boxed in than to show what happens when you break one of the uh, edges of the box. <laughs> Results in a goal for to be I, honest, that demo, they punched right through that box. Basically, I mean, box basically made of cardboard at that point. But we were talking about this uh, in the series with Splice and Upper 90 before. If you have a lot of faith in your teammates like Splice did and they get taken out of the play, then suddenly you are breaking down. So I'm liking the demo ideas. 
coming out from Sway all game long so far. Finally paid off right there, and they still have an opportunity. This one remains in the midfield line. Zolhe will win out in this 50-50. Hawkser in towards center. Wants the double tap. It's off the back wall, and Shock can't put it on through. Tikarel will be able to put it off to the side, but Afterthought once again prowling in the zone. This next goal is just huge for this series. Could very well define it for Sway. They cannot give it up right here. Absolutely need this one. Back pass just past Zolhe, but Hoxer is there as a solid third man. Tikarel on the side. Zolhe up for that one. Does win out on the 50 50 once again. So crucial. Great ceiling <laughs> touch as well. Stopping out Sway in a bit of a strange spot. The final 10 now coming on the board. And honestly, if I'm Sway, I'd be willing to take a reset. You don't want to give Afterthought any more ground than they already have. They're in the offensive end. Hawks are off the ceiling. One more touch, Zombie goes to overtime. Overtime in the grand finals. What better situation could we hope to be in? Sway oh right now. We've seen them get some overtime kickoff goals, maybe here. Oh. Tikarel, good idea. It's still in the air, though. Alpha Cap couldn't get up. CPS oh. able to make the follow. Great communication. And Sway, in the clutchest of moments, prevent the match point situation. It's 2-1, to one, and they're still fighting them. And what a boomer right in front of the net. I think he pinched it off of the defender. Comes in at 92 miles an hour. Ooh. Just slams it That's home. Heater. Oh, yes, it was. Wow, Sway, stay alive here. I know they would have maybe had another chance if they went down, but good on them for not going down 0-3. Kept the shots a lot closer this time around, and uh, I mean, still felt like after shot up. Uh, I knew it was going to happen once. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to happen once. Afterthought. Cos they have, they cosmic have shock. Aftershock, guys. Cosmic Aftershock. No. No, they're not in this tournament. It is Afterthought. afterthought. Still had control. They did manage to box him out for such a long time, but unfortunately they weren't able to hold on long enough during that one. Was it really once T. Carell got that first goal for their team that they were able to break past, or was it something else that led to their eventual victory in this game? I don't know. I felt like Afterthought were still pressing pretty hard despite oh, yeah. that goal. So honestly, um, I think they should feel a little bit lucky sneaking away with that win there. But that completely changes the dynamic of the series now. I mean, if Sway can come through, maybe get that first goal too. That could be huge for them. Um, it could be a, an entirely different series. Um, I would still say, though, this next game is really big. They still don't want to give up that third win if they can avoid it. Yeah, and I feel like this was a big... Uh a big play for them, honestly, getting this one win. Because suddenly Afterthought's thinking, all right, okay, well, maybe we have to respect our opponents a little bit more. If it changes Afterthought's play style, then suddenly Sway could be like, okay, well, we're just going to go ahead and absolutely destroy you this next game because you guys decide you're going to try to adapt to our play style. We are not going to change. They're not slowing down at all. If they can take this game, they're going to be more than back in this series. I feel like they might even have an advantage due to a momentum shift. We'll just have to leave it on the field. Shock, early shot on. CPS there for the save. Classic third man style. Dropping in the midfield line. Nobody really wants to go on that one. It'll be Hoxer and Shock coming together to make a pinch all the way to the upper corner. Easy clear for Tikarel. Great touch there as well. Blocking out the defender. A double tap. Will fall to Hoxer. But I'm liking the quick play style we're seeing from Sway as they get this one onto the blue half early. Tikarel unable to make a touch there. Shock will be able to keep this one on the midfield line. Zolhe up high looking for Shock. I like that pass idea. It looked like they're going for a 1 2 3 off of the player, off of the backboard. Interesting choice, but we do see it at the highest level once in a while work out. Now ZPS looking for the double tap. Hoxer barely gets his hand on that one. It's still in the danger zone, though, off the backboard once again. Tikarel lurking. Nope, gets blocked out. Alpha Kip will be able to keep this one a bit field. And once again, continued pressure coming from Sway now. Big change of pace. Yeah, the big backcourt defense as well coming from Afterthought. They just shut down everything that goes up and over the net. Always kicking it over into the corner, making sure that there's no rebound opportunities. It almost looks like Sway might be relying a little bit on that type of offense. Perhaps so. T. Carell looking for a carrier. Gets a lot of ground and a oh, little nice. bit more into the midfield. Alpha Kemp can't get a touch on that one. Zolhe to shock. Oh, wow. That one was almost an insane play, but he couldn't get the redirect. Hoxer quickly shut down by Alpha Kemp, and he'll be moved back to the midfield line. And again, Swate quickly transitioning downfield. And now a shot opportunity. Great touch away from Hoxer, but also good speed from Zombie putting pressure on. Yeah, I, I like that afterthought, though. We're getting in the face of Sway for everything. They're making them work for every inch of ground here, and it's forcing Sway to win a bunch of 50-50s just to get through. Good bump right there. At least a good idea. Unfortunately, didn't work out. But you can tell that Sway with a lot more offense this time around. They did almost manage to uh, match shots 
with Afterthought in the last game. This is a critical game, however. If Sway is able to win, they'll tie the series 2-2. Two two. If they lose, it's match point for Afterthought. ZPS towards the net, and now, oh, what? Well, that's one way to get the job done. Alpha Kev off the post and in 1-0 in favor of Sway. And it was that double commit between Shock and Zol. Neither aware of which was going to go for it, and that opened up the net there. Wasn't really that dangerous of an opportunity, but works out for Sway. Um, that's one that definitely Afterthought are going to be thinking about, especially if that allows Sway to get this series tied up. And Hoxer was diving in front of that one, expecting the power shot. Just went a little bit too slow. And once again, it's not about how the ball went in. It's just that it did, unfortunately, for Afterthought. But fortunately for Sway, as we pass the half, they have the lead. And I believe that's the first time they've actually scored first so far this series, so massive benefit to them. Huge change of pace so far. The dynamic has truly adapted. T. Carell waiting at the midfield for this one. Zolhe will inherit. Good demo. <laughs> Alpha Kep's taking him out of the place. Hey, I don't, I don't want to take that risk. But it looks like Afterthought will be able to push out here onto the offense. Zolhe to Shock. Love the pass idea. Once again, just not enough into the midfield. And Sway getting really fast on the defense forced him to make the play before he was ready. Yeah, the pressing style of Afterthought is no longer working. You can tell they're having to play much more responsible. Whoa, oh, no. my shock had a chance there, but goes bar down and not in. It's going to bounce back out. Tariq T. Carell pushes downfield. But right now, Afterthought had a real hard press in those first couple of games. And you can tell now they're really respecting Sway. And a great recovery. And you saw ZPS going for a demo there. You can tell the physical play is definitely on their minds. They know it works. This one in a dangerous spot. Alpha Kemp going for that boost steal. Not certain if he got it or not, but it did look like it. Resource game, very important. 75 seconds now to go. Sway maintained the lead. Zolhe out into the center. Good transition. ZPS, oh, that's actually on target. Wow, I guess I need to fix my eyesight because I did not respect that one enough, and I don't think Afterthought did either. Yeah, honestly, Afterthought may be respecting Sway too much. They were able to get so much pressure early where they were just rotating around cutting even players off through rotation to stay in the zone. But right there, you saw they were hesitant. Um, I, I know they don't want to get the game, the series tied up here, but honestly, that pressing style, that aggressive style was working so well for them early. I don't think we've ever seen such a big change of pace from game one to game four than this right now. It seems to just be Sway improving every single game in so far, and uh, they're looking uh, like they're on a good path. 45 seconds remains for Afterthought to put two on the board here and force an overtime. This one out towards center. ZPS, plenty of time for that one. Where was the offense? Hoxer can't put that one on target either. Zolhe is going to try and desperately keep this one in the zone. ZPS, and a great bump oh. from Zolhe. That one's going to find its way into the back of the net. Great bump. Yeah, Shock and Zol working together. Zol able to get that one over and then goes straight for the defender. Doesn't rotate out. Instead, clears the goal line, and Shock makes no mistake. What we see is honestly a, a nice counter from Afterthought, because if you think about it this way, uh, Sway did, made a point of demoing the man that was really boxing them in in the last match, and it worked out for them. And now Afterthought taking out the third man that's always so strong for Sway. Work wonders for them, and oh, barely kept away. What a save. I didn't think CPS had that one for a second. But truly want to save the final 10 rapidly approaching. Can Afterthought force an overtime here? Hoxer towards the top of the net. No such luck. t is going to blast it downfield. The final opportunity right here. Onto the back wall. ZPS touches it to the corner. Zolhe going to opt to stick out of this one. Shock over, and it's out. There it is. Series tied. Uh, it looked like maybe Afterthought we're going to start to run away with this series, but no, just like that. Nerves. Sway have come back, and and the nerve of Sway. The to, nerve. To do that. To, <laughs> How to, could you? To sway back into this series. But truly, um, I, I really love the fight that they showed there because we don't we don't want a quick we don't want a quick nah. finals, guys. We want to no, see the no, most competitive no. Rocket League we can, and I really like what Sway did there. We wanted to go all the way to the second best of seven potentially, but you know. It's a long road till we get to that point, but man, you guys really like Sway now that they that I predicted them right? No, 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 no. We, we, we like the series. You we like every. You we said like you wanted the bracket League, reset. Basically. You said you wanted the bracket reset. You know, I'm just throwing. I'm it not out saying there. who's gonna win it, but I think it's a good idea for we for us to keep seeing these counters from Sway yes. when they weren't working out well before. Why are they working out now against Afterthought?
I think Afterthought started to question what they were doing a little bit, to be honest with you. They they were, I mean, I'll be honest, they were playing extremely, extremely aggressive. And, and that's a dangerous style, but I don't know that they got burned for it, really. Um, even when Sway started to score goals, it wasn't necessarily because um, Afterthought were being too aggressive. I'd like to see them keep their foot down. Yeah, I agree with you. But to delve deeper on that one, I mean, think about it. Afterthought playing that aggressive game, it worked for them. But Afterthought, what they did is they kind of just turned on cruise control. They thought, all right, well, we're winning games. We'll be fine. And then you saw Sway on Neo Tokyo in game number three. They said, all right, well, we're going to adapt to this. We're going to take out your last man. We're going to secure ourselves the win. And then suddenly, Sway with all the momentum. And then Afterthought began to question themselves. And now it's like, oh, boy, Sway are running away with this one. We'll have to see how that turns out here. Game number five of this best of seven. We have a tied series. No oh boy, I'm rubbing my hands. Start a fire. <laughs> Start a fire out here. Grab your marshmallows, grab your popcorn if you have it. I don't. We're half a minute in. Sway starting out in the blue half. Out of the corner, zombie across. There's Alpha Cap. Like clockwork, they get the first goal of game number five. Yeah, pressure now for Sway. You called out the momentum earlier, and I'm really starting to feel that afterthought not able to get that ball through. And, and it's a good pass out front, but they had three players along the wall, the goal line. Somebody's got to get a piece of that one there. Afterthought looking completely different than they did in those first two wins. Only 40 seconds gone, though. There's still plenty of time to see if they'll make an adaptation here. And here's a shot on from Zolhe. ZPS quick to get to that one. Good pumps in the back. Tigrell getting pushed out there, but Alpha Kep will be able to make contact with the ball. Good touch away from ZPS there. It looked like it was almost a dunk, but the interference not as effective as it used to be for Afterthought. Tigrell almost under that last man. Shock's going to be able to get it away to Hoxer. Back to Shock. And he's the last one on this play. Won't be able to get it over ZPS. A good idea with the flick. Zolhe coming across once again. He's still playable, but can't make contact with that ball. A bit of a misplay, and Sway is able to move it downfield. That was a big save. Really can't be understated on that flick from Shock. They had a three-on-one moving downfield, and that was a good shot from Shock. Really a nice flip opportunity, but a really nice save for Sway, keeping Afterthought off the board. Wishing it could have got a little bit more power, probably. Only 90 seconds gone. Sway trying to set up a little bit more offense here. T. Carell is going to send it towards the net. ZPS, good touch, sends that one up high. T. Carell trying to send it down low, but Shock is able to touch it off to the side. Alpha Cap keeping the play alive here. Zolhe into the corner. Across the center, Shock's going to pick this one up. Good play right here, gets it around T. Carell, but Alpha Cap is quick to pick up where his buddy left off. And now ZPS to put a shot on net once again, just reminding Afterthought, stay in your place. And Alpha Cap couldn't get the angle on that one. And again, I really like the idea. Being able to make solo plays is very important because they rely on that two-man offense. Yeah, and honestly, it looks like a reversal of roles right now where Sway Esports are the ones pressing Afterthought, keeping them down into their zone. It all honestly looks like the teams just switch sides. As we approach the half, Sway a little bit of defense right here, but they maintain the lead. Towards the box, easy touch away for T. Carell. Just a little bit out behind was Shock. And again, as you mentioned, a bit of a role reversal. We used to see Sway being the ones barely behind their opponents. We'll return to the midfield for just a second. T. Carell off the wall into center. Alpha Camp will respect this one. Good third man rotation for Sway. Shock up high, no passing target. Off the ceiling now, a bit of a strange situation. Good shot on net, but not good enough to get it past Alpha Cap. This one gonna be moving back towards the midfield and nothing during that entire offensive process felt at all threatening. No, not at all. And it's the way that Sway have changed the way that they're defending. They're allowing the Afterthought team to sort of put things towards them instead of trying to win every 50-50 down low, just letting Afterthought put the ball into their hands and getting those clears instead. Out of the corner. Long clear. Hoxer will be able to play it, though. Low boost, but he might be able to get a shot on here. Not if T. Carell has something to say about it. As it returns to the midfield line. Shock to Zolhe. Once again, great passing fury, but nothing doing as he can't get it on target. And now Sway moving down the other way. Shock with a great save on the goal line. And we pointed out for being a great defender and solid third man rotation right there. We mentioned that Afterthought playing a rather aggressive play style for the first two games, but they seem to have realized what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it definitely had. That was a big save by Shock. Right now, if you're Afterthought, you got to look to the center of the field, try and get some of those passes off instead of looking at the back 
of the backboard and all of that. So definitely need to look to the center of the field, try to get some of these passes. But honestly, I love what Sway are doing. They are completely pressing afterthought right now, stopping every chance that they've got. T. Carell over to the corner. Looks to get that one. He's got Alpha Cap waiting in the wing as well. Pressing play continues here for Sway. And again, you saw T. Carell passing over, and then Alpha Cap was the one man, only one man was keeping the entirety of Afterthought in their own half. Great demo and a great bump. They couldn't get the shot on target, but again, great practice there for Sway. They know exactly what needs to be done. They maintain the lead right here. Afterthought locked in their own half as we approach the final 10 seconds of gameplay. 17 on the clock right now. ZPS in the air. Over to T. Carell. No, T. Carell going for a bump. Pass in the mid. Zole up high. Can they get the read? It's going to be Hawkster. Couldn't get around the ball. Just like Gyro in their last series, couldn't get the shot on target. That might be their downfall right here. Huge clear from Alpha Cap, and it might drop in the corner. It will. <sighs> wow. I hate to point it out like that, but wow. I, I did see a direct parallel there as Gyro did just barely not get around the ball to score that zero second goal to save the peeps. Same situation right there. Hoxer just barely couldn't get that angle on the ball to save his team. And honestly, in a one nothing game, when you've had at least two odd men breaks, they had that three, uh, one odd men break earlier, and then that was one there as well. To not get a goal on either of those shots is huge, especially when you get shut out just one nothing. Crazy shutout being pulled off by Sway Esports. Afterthought. I'm feeling a bit frightful for them going into a potential bracket reset if things continue this way. Do you guys think that it is possible for them to bring things back under control based on the momentum we're seeing out of Sway Esports? I, I personally do. I mean, g games can change fast. Series can change fast. Um, you never know when a team can find their own momentum and suddenly get that back. So honestly, yeah, I, I do think that they still have a good chance to keep this one at just this series. Obviously, like Vod said, they don't want to let it get to that bracket reset. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that point as well. I mean, think about it. It's been like a one goal game that last match. So, I mean, thinking if you're in after hot shoes, I mean, just one breakaway goal could do it for you. Of course, Sway have had some pretty solid third man rotations, and I've been calling that out because it has been pretty textbook for them. I mean, rotations are probably one of the most fundamental part of the Silver Rocket League, and they've been really bringing it to the table. But if you're afterthought, again, just one goal could give you that opportunity to get right back into the game and Potentially send it to game number seven, but we're here in game number six and Sway want to close it out right here and send us to a bracket reset We saw them do it in the January monthly and then take the win from there Can they do it again is the big question here in the Renegade Cup finals for North America We'll have to find out after these five minutes and potentially some overtime if it comes to that. Oh sh Shock we've seen him do it before but here on the biggest stage when you've been down on the momentum that is aggressive. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him, though, to be able to make those plays. He's been making great plays all Not weekend. All. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him in any capacity. I'm just saying that Afterthought may be trying to change it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're aggressor again, you know, right out the gate. They're the aggressor. In the blue corner right here, Zolhe passed Alpha Cap, potentially another hit right here. Unable to do exactly that. That was a bit dangerous. Had it been on target, perhaps a goal. But as stayed out here, big miss from Alpha Cap. T. Carell's forced to play this one into his own corner. Missed the boost right there as well. This could bode. Poor Hoxer for the shot. Great read by ZPS. And he's been a defensive bastion. And there he is once again, just keeping out of the opponents. Yeah, huge save because that was a big opportunity for Afterthought. Zombie, though, able to get over, make that save. Now another shot coming. Hoxer up and over the net. Alpha Cap going to put it over into the corner. Great another opportunity shot there for Zol. For Zol. Gets it past, defender there, but not able to make the stop. This is how Afterthought came out in those first couple of games. And you can tell as soon as that one hits the backboard and you don't see an orange name in the air, that spells trouble. If you're playing against Afterthought, all three of their players more than qualified to make those backboard reads. 3.34 on the clock now. Afterthought looking to push it to game number seven by holding on to this one. Alpha Cap is not happy about that last goal. Can you blame him? I don't, I don't blame I don't him at so. all. Get, get rid of some of that aggression. And also, we found that those demos definitely work. It does seem so. Earned them their first game win in this series. Now another opportunity. That one's going to sink right in. Zolhe finds the right side. And whoa, where is Afterthought coming from? Transitional attack set up by Shock as he works that corner there. You see Alpha Cap just can't get that read. And as it bounces out to Zol, he's not going to make any mistake on that shot there. Back and forth we go in this series. Momentum shifting back in Afterthought's favor. Interesting to see. Maybe... You know how we talked about how it changed before where Sway had to adapt 
Maybe Afterthought realized that, well, they're not doing it anymore. We can just return to what we were doing in the first place. I don't know what's going on here. But that's sure what it seems like. And now it's up to Sway to respond if they want to take this one right here. Down to center. Huge clear. I believe that was Shock in the backfield. Zolhe going to follow. Alpha kept just by him. Over top of Hoxer as well. Can't get it away from Shock, but there's DPS. Once again, solid third man and a bump in the back. Hoxer is able to touch it away regardless. But again, I like the idea with the bumping plays. Very cool of Sway to bring those out. It, it, it nearly worked. Hoxer barely it, it. recovered there. Shock. Oh, oh. no! Feels uh, backflip, man. Well, I guess uh, this is why you speculate with random shots towards the net. Yeah, may as well put them on, force the defense to make saves. See ZPS, oh, looking for that flip. Unfortunately, just barely missed the ball there. Now 2.32 remaining, afterthought with a big 3-0 lead. Yeah, it does seem to be tilting in their favor right about now. We've seen a lot of possession from them as well. Not the sway that we're used to seeing based on the last three games of play. There's still an entire half a game left to go. As I like to say, halftime, probably the best spot to really change up the game if you have the chance to. So we'll see if they take that opportunity. T. Carell all the way downfield. Hoxer's going to play this one out of the corner, up high. Good idea from T. Carell touching that one down. ZPS across the field. Couldn't get it to Alpha. Kept just a little bit behind the mark. Shock taking control onto the back wall. Back into the corner, Zolhe out center. Hawks are not ready for that one. ZPS is touched back to the midfield, but nobody ready to follow it up. And now we're seeing one of the big problems for Sway. He's one of the big problems that we saw for Afterthought. They're clearing it to nobody. And now here's an opportunity. Hawks are coming off the backboard. Can't make much of it. But still, they're keeping it in the offensive zone. Yeah. Possession here is just unreal for Afterthought. Had a demo to just keep it going. Now Hawks are going to keep that ball up in the zone. Just pressure, pressure, pressure here for Afterthought. Sway can do nothing to clear this ball. Finally, they do get it out. And Tikarel going up for that double touch, but doesn't get it. Great job by Hawks on the backboard. Backboard defense, so important. And respecting Tikarel when he's going for those double taps, also important. Man is an absolute legend when it comes to aerial play. Can't get that one past Hawkser. ZPS in the air. Zolhe is able to get a hand on it. Relatively neutral 50-50s in the midfield line from what I've seen. T. Carell looking for the double tap. Can't find it. ZPS closed out by Zolhe. And now Shock going to possess this one. Looking to redeem himself for that flick he didn't quite get last time around. Taken out for his effort. Zolhe with a shot on. Great save by T. Carell. But there's still a lot of work to be done for Sway if they want to come back into this game. Big save, but they still have to push downfield. They don't just need saves. They need goals right now. T. Carell goes for that one. Can't get the touch. Had zero boost. And with 35 seconds to go, down three. This is going to take a miracle. But right now, Afterthought just looking too strong. Hawks are coming up through. Gets the goal past two defenders. The cheeky aerial play putting Afterthought up for nothing. Double tap off the ceiling. And that is wonderful to watch. T. Carell, Woo. I mean, I said he's a master in the air. But uh, it's hard to match that kind of skill. Alpha Cap coming off the side wall as well. Couldn't quite get around it. Now for Sway, you're looking forward to game number seven. Because there is no way they're coming back into this one. And honestly, I kind of hope that I cast a curse that one because that would be a legendary comeback. That would be the best comeback we've probably ever, ever seen. seen. Yeah, but uh, I don't think it's going to oh. happen. They're starting up with a passing play right there in the closing seconds of the game, but it is going to be closed out right there. Dominant win for Afterthought after taking three losses in a row, and we are going to game number seven. And all we can hope for now is overtime. Uh, yeah, or that, that moment we were talking about, right? That, that moment last we were talking about. second goal to win it all. The we'll not Rocket League moment. The, well... The, we're not Shogun, I mean. We're not Shogun. No, no one is. Shogun no is one legendary. is. Shogun is the man, no nope. doubt about it. No one except for Shogun. You know who else is the man? Who? Hoxer. Hoxer, yes. Shock with the MVP, but no, 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 no. Hoxer? 366 nah, nah, nah. points? No. No, no, no. Nah, nah. 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 nah he he says. was the man right there. But I mean, three assists for Shock, you do have to give him that. Okay. Okay, so after you guys are like bringing up Hoxer so many times, <laughs> why is he the man? I just got to ask the question. Sam? He, he's just everywhere right now. He's making plays up and down the field. I mean, he's scoring big goals for them, making big saves as well. He looks a lot like Shock did in the previous day. And honestly, for Afterthought, if they can have players stand up, uh, stand up and make plays like that, I know you mentioned Zol earlier. It seems like at any point, any one of these three players can carry their team to victory. I can agree with you on that one. It does seem that way. Uh, but it really, what really feels to me to be the case is that we just kind of went back to game one there for a second because Sway looked like they got comfortable with it then as, as Afterthought did. And Sway was just like, all right, guys, we can just start cruising now. No, why? <laughs> 
I mean, Sway has never been about that. We've seen them, like, just absolutely steamroll their opponents before, just saying, like, no, nah, we're, we're not giving you any quarter. But right here, they just decide to say, like, ah, oh, we got this one in the bag. It'll be fine. Go to the bracket reset. And then what's your plan? Because obviously that did not seem to work. Uh, I'm not sure if that was quite in the plan, but... Is that in the script? You know, I'm sure they Is were trying the... to get the ball passed, but honestly, you got to so. hand it to Afterthought and the pressure that they had. It did look a lot yes. like game one, where they were just swarming the entire time. Game seven, Squid. This could be it. Potential win here for Afterthought, or will Sway get this bracket reset on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please get up and get loud. As Wave Funk would say, we have Afterthought, we have Sway, we have game number seven, and this is intensity at its finest. We'll have to see who wins at the end of this five minutes and potential overtime, which I would love to see personally. Will Sway bring this one back is the big question on everyone's mind. Or is Afterthought going to continue with their momentum? And here's ZPS to give you an answer on that one. Couldn't get it past Hoxer. But TKRL to return into center. Good touch off the back wall by Shock. This one going across. TKRL's actionable on that ball. It's moving down the other way. They're off to the races. And Alphacap was able to get just a little bit of a touch to keep it away from the post. That's something Sway are going to have to look out for. I can tell they're wanting to come out strong on offense, but they got to be defensive as well. Shot not there for Shock as TKRL was down in the box. I like how Sway have started, but they really got to watch out for those counters. And they are moving down onto the offensive half. Somewhere I love to see a great pump right there, taking Alpha Cap completely out of the play. But there's T. Carell there to mop up regardless. And that's another thing I really love about Sway. There's always another man there just in case. They're always backing each other up. Wonderful to see. ZPS for the cross. Unfortunately, only finds Shock. It's on target, but Alpha Cap there to deflect it. Off the ceiling now, bit of an awkward situation. T. Carell will be able to touch it off to the side. But here's Shock, demo in the net. And that's an awkward situation if I've ever seen one ZPS out the center. Hoxer couldn't put it on target though. And Afterthought once again looking a little bit weaker on the offense than last game. Yeah, I think Sway are continuing to make the adjustments that they need to. You see him pulling back a lot. I think they feel like if they can just give Afterthought the field, they'll be able to return the ball. Instead of getting hemmed up, there's a shot coming from Alpha Cap. Good job by Zol to get over and make the save. Both teams playing out of their minds right now. Perhaps that last game was a bit of a wake-up call for Sway. And I definitely hope that it was. They're looking pretty good, though. Does seem that way. No contact there from Shock. Tikarel's going to blast it downfield, but Hoxer will stop that at the midfield. Oh. Great shot right there. Quick reaction there from Zolhe. Three players were up. For Afterthought, but they're just playing that quickly. And that must have been hard to read for the defense. You got three guys going up for it. Here comes Zol just slamming that one through. Good job there, but not on line. And now Sway, man, they just can't find the offense. This is looking a lot like those Afterthought wins for Sway right now. They've got to make sure that they do not get pushed back as much as they have previously. Difficult to call at this point in time. We pass the half with a 0-0 zero zero scoreline. Alpha kept on the side. Blocked away by Zolhe before contact can be made. Hoxer into the corner, gets out as well. Their last man back bumped a little bit, but Zolhe will be able to recover. Now ZPS to the back wall. Shock just barely gets a touch on that. Very key touch, and now they're looking down the other way. Alpha Kev is going to have to be able to make the play here. Shock is too quick to the ball. ZPS on the goal line, able to touch it off to the side. Slow down here in the corner for just a second. That was Zolhe, Shock, unable to get it past the opponent. Now up onto the back wall. Great speed from T. Carell getting onto the backboard to defend. Now Hawks are up the ceiling looking for the dunk. No, Alpha Kep's not having any of it. Zolhe from the side. It's in front of the net. Shock puts it through after throw with the lead. A minute 41 is on the clock. And Sway need a goal now. What a heads up play by Zolhe. Doesn't put that shot on. You saw the defender screaming in there to block that ball, but no. Zolhe puts it over to the center. There's Shock to finish that shot off. Afterthought with a potential championship clinching goal there if Sway do not get this tied up. We approach the 90 second mark. Sway on the offensive right off of face off. It's Alpha Cap can't get the oh. shot on. CPS blocked out by Hoxer. Immense save right there. They're going to try and keep the possession, but there's Zolhe. No shot on target there. Looked like there was nobody back in the net, but maybe a couple of nerves for Afterthought even with the lead. It's all on Sway. Tikarel up high. You know he's so dangerous right here. No. Hoxer touches it off to the side. So much pressure for Sway in these opening seconds of the kickoff. 
ZPS towards the net. Oh, just oh off the my. post and out. Now it's sailing down the no other way. direction. Nobody's no way. there. Tigarell can't get it away. A 2-0 lead. Oh my goodness, after thought they're running away. Unbelievable turn of events there. Sway have a chance downfield to tie this game up, but they don't get it. And instead, it's afterthought with the booming clear. Zol with another goal. 2-0 here. Just a minute two to play. I'm looking for a crown and jewels level comeback right here. Good face off. Alpha Kep. No, there's Hoxer. He puts it away. He looked like Zolhe didn't have it. But the dreams were crushed there for just a second. Into the midfield. Hoxer trying to interfere. ZPS has it. Over to Alpha Kep. Ball to the side wall. Back there from oh. Shot. No, he hits it right into the defender. Horrible placement. I can't say that any other way. Huge miss from Zombie. Hawks are now downfield. They're shocked. They're trying to secure their victory. Not quite yet. 30 seconds still remains. There's still plenty of time to put on two goals, but they need one right now. Beat out by Hoxer. ZPS to the side wall. Zolhe gonna keep this one at the midfield line. Once again, Swain need two goals to stay alive in this tournament. After the looking to clinch the win right here, ZPS downfield. Tigarell gets the touch. Oh, to oh, oh, yes. They manage it through. Excellent passing play. That is what we need to see out of Sway right now. We are not done yet. Not if Sway have anything to say. Great passing play from Tigarell right to the tape of Alka Alpha Kep. This is 16 seconds, and this kickoff seconds. is huge. Crowd and Jules come back happening right here. You need to see this. Sway with the opportunity. Neutral face off straight up to the side. Huge boost challenge right there. ZPS in the center. Oh, Huge block. So he gets bumped in the lower to midfield. Off to the corner. Still a chance here. T. Carell wins out on the 50 50, looking for a bump. ZPS up high. One man dead. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. no. Are you kidding me? Afterthought. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. We would be speechless, but we have to talk right now. What an unbelievable game seven. Nearly goes to overtime, but Sway not able to get that final goal. And afterthought, take home the Game 7 win and the victory here in the Renegade Cup Finals. I don't know about uh, Squid and all the viewers, but I'm pretty devastated after that one. Almost able to tie things up. Give us that final goal at the last second, but no wow. post getting in the way at the end of it. And it will be afterthought, your champions of the North American Renegade Cup Final. And Sway Esports coming in a very close second. Can you get closer wow. than that? You can't get closer than that. That is the closest you can get, other than a, a bracket reset and then getting to game seven and it happening. But there are literal tears on the inside right now. Jeez. I wanted that comeback so badly. The crown and jewels story didn't happen. Man, you were calling it. They had that goal late. Everybody was feeling it. But no, Afterthought just too strong. They played that way the entire tournament, had some massive saves throughout this entire tournament to keep these games close. And a great comeback from Afterthought as well. After yeah. Sway taking three games in a row, Afterthought able to make the necessary adjustments and comeback is more than exceptional. More than exceptional is just a way to put it very lightly. They were able to come back from the brink of extinction in the tournament. They could have had a bracket reset, of course, but they don't want that to happen. They saw what happened with Sway Esports when they went to a bracket reset during very the true. battle for Valhalla and got a 4-0 against their opponents. They managed to prevent that and managed to come out on top with the victory, and what a way to do it. Oh, yes, yeah, $6,000 going to them and very well deserved. They did not lose a single match in this final, stay in the upper bracket, never go down, and take home the finals. Well, here's the way I see. From my standpoint, Afterthought and Sway playing that match, that could very well have been an, an RLRS promotion match, to be oh, perfectly oh, honest. Oh, how many, how many matches could we say, though, so about the tournament? I mean, honestly, a lot of the matches I think you could classify that Look, way. I don't care that Afterthought won. I'm still giving Sway the number one seed. Oh, in my there heart. it is. Oh, oh man. <laughs> he was no. just, this isn't one of the situations, like I mentioned, with Hawkser not being able to get the zero second goal and Gyro the same spot. Wasn't the same. Alpha Kept just literally could not physically get around the ball. He was just too, barely oh, too far man. away. He was going too fast at the end as well. And instead of cutting it a little bit early because of the defenders, he wanted to wait the last moment and it just did not work out towards the end. And very unfortunate for Sway Esports, but very fortunate for Afterthoughts so that did not get brought to that overtime because it could have been any game, anyone's game then. I could talk about that for hours. That that last play right there, such hard play. I'm sure a lot of people are going to try to cut us it. off. Can we just keep talking and we'll see yeah, if they uh, <laughs> Can we just have, like, uh, we're time have for the after show? show now, guys.
Renegade wow. Cup Finals after wow. show featuring uh, <laughs> a broken and dismantled squid. Well, <laughs> what we do have to talk about before we close off the show and give a little shout out to some of the other tournament organizers is the matches we've had today. What are your guys' favorite matches we have had throughout the bracket? I know my favorite was the dudes and the peeps, even though that didn't go as far as it could have. It was a very close one between those two teams. Am I allowed to say anything other than that last match? I mean, that last mm. match was pretty I solid I think that would well. be entirely I, fair. I think that's against the rules, personally. Yeah, yeah. that... Uh, something uh, other than the last match. Oh, That's okay. basically Harris. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm going splice. I'm going splice upper 90 that because that was a good. huge yes. upset. Um, if the splice biggest. gets past there, you never know what they would do moving forward. I know a lot of us expected might see splice go back up into that grand final situation. So for me, even though upper 90 lost that next matchup, that was a huge match there. And then another upset you're talking about, we got the dudes in bread is something we should shout out. The dudes 2-0 yeah. in bread in the upper bracket, like that is unheard of as well. I mean, we could look at a lot of these Splice versus Sway. Uh, then, oh my goodness. How many, too, I mean, too we many can just matches. read. I have all the matches. I could just read them here if you yeah, like no, me to go through. We're, we're, we're good. We don't need to go through all of them. I'm sure people Ooh, are going through all the VODs of this afterwards. But what we do need to talk about and give a little shout out to is all four of the monthly tournament organizers for the Renegade Cup monthlies. We had the Project Phoenix brought to you by the guys at Rival Esports. And we also had Fall Frenzy brought to you by Nexus Gaming. Whiteout by Boost Legacy. Battle for Valhalla by Mythical Esports. And all four of these organizations are always running tournaments every single week. Maybe sometimes they do monthlies, maybe they do bi-weeklies. They have different formats. So definitely follow them on Twitter so that you can follow along with all the Rocket League tournament actions. Some of these teams will be in it. And yeah. maybe you can compete in it as well. That's what I was about to say. I was like, if you want more matches like this, then please go give them a look because I can guarantee you more good Rocket League is always a good thing. Great Rocket League. Let's be honest. The yeah. scene has just elevated where, you know, maybe before some of these lower teams, it, you might have said they're not very good. Eh, no, not at <laughs> all. Are you kidding me right now? Those matches that we saw, just absolutely insane. Bodes well for the future of Rocket League. There's no doubt. And I'm actually going to give a little bit of a hand to the EU scene as well. We've seen the skill gap close immensely. Team Echo Zulu and DreamHack, who we saw Ooh. running through the Renegade Cup Finals for EU, they made it to day number three and it was ridiculous as well as the victors for that weekend. Savage made it all the way and they almost beat Dignitas in game number seven, but they didn't. So close. Speaking of other tournaments that have been going on throughout the offseason, we do have something coming up for content-wise on content. the Rocket League channel. Content. It is going to be the CRL Western Conference. Starts tomorrow, first day of three. $50,000 worth in scholarship prizing Ooh. up for grabs, so you do not want to miss it. It is going to be at 4.30 p.m., not a.m., p.m., PST. So make sure you tune into that. But any final words be for you guys before we close off the broadcast for the rematch. day? Rematch. <laughs> uh, rematch. No, I, it was just a great weekend. I, I cannot really see say anything more than just what an, a fantastic experience. I hope the viewers out there really loved um, what this tournament brought, not just the finals, but all of the okay. tournaments leading up here as well. Just a fantastic experience. Love where the scene is going. Yeah, and again, we do have to shout out, once again, this has been four months of tournaments leading up to this final month of play with these finals. It's been an absolutely incredible experience, as you mentioned. And a big thank you to Sionics for sponsoring these events and all the prizing that goes along with it. I think it's a total of like 80,000 between yeah, both yeah. of them. It's, 40, a, it's 40, a lot of money each. that's been Very much brought money. together to help all the players, give them great experience and give them a reason to kind of stick together, which is what we saw happen with a lot of these tournaments as well. But we do have to close off the show. Unfortunately, there will be that Rocket League action happening tomorrow with the first ever spring season of CRL. I have been your host, Vaudible, and thank you guys for joining us thus far for the three days of amazing Rocket League for the North American Renegade Cup Finals, and we will see you next time.